Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you audition mode in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a drum loop and a string part. And it sounds like this. Now I'm still adjusting the volumes, so we're going to open up the mixer. We can change the volume of our tracks a bit easier. But I want to show you this feature called Audition Mode, which is going to allow us to change the level of our tracks, but not permanently. In other words, we can let go of the fader, and it's going to jump back to the previous level. Now you probably know we can undo just about everything in Reaper. So if I change the level, of my strings. And if I don't like it, I could just hit undo and it goes back to the previous level, which we could see is about minus 7 dB. So we could always undo to get back our previous level. But with audition mode, it's going to save an extra step. So what we want to do is before we grab the fader, is hold down a modifier. On PC, it's Alt, and on Mac, it's Option. Just hold it down and grab the fader, and then move it around and audition that level. But if you're not happy with it, just let go while you're still holding down the modifier, and it jumps back to the previous level, like this. Hold down the modifier, bring it down to a good level, and if you don't like it, let go. And it jumps back to the previous level. So it's a great way of auditioning different levels without committing to them. Let's do it again. Hold down the modifier. If you don't like it, let go. And it jumps back to the original level of minus seven. There's a few other ways this works. One way is if you happen to forget to grab the modifier, you can still do it even after you grab the fader, like this. I'm gonna grab the fader first, then I'll grab the modifier to jump into audition mode, and then I'll let go. Grab the modifier and let go of the fader. And it still jumps back to that original position. So we can still enter audition mode even after we're playing. Just hold on the modifier before we let go of the fader. And if you happen to like the new level you found, just let go of the modifier before you let go of the fader, like this. Hold on the modifier, let go of the modifier, and let go of the fader. And it keeps that new level. We could still undo it afterwards, but it's a time saver to choose the new level as it's playing. So we can stay with audition mode if we hold on the modifier the whole time. And it jumps back. Or we could enter audition mode in the middle. And it still jumps back or we could let go of the modifier in the middle. And we can keep that new level. Now this is gonna work with any parameter in Reaper, whether it's a fader or a knob. Let's add some reverb to the strings. I'll grab the routing on the strings and drop it on the reverb. And that creates a send right here. We could bring it down to get a good level. But if you want to enter audition mode, just add the modifier the same way. Hold it down. Let go. And it jumps back to that level. And we could grab it late again. Let go. And it still snaps back. Or we can keep the level if we let go of the modifier in the middle. And 
and then it keeps that new level. And it'll work the same way with effects or parameters. Let's adjust the filter on the drums. Right over here, we can change the frequency on the fly. And we could also use audition mode. Hold on the modifier and grab it. Let go. And it jumps back to the original position. Or grab it late. And it still jumps back. Or let go of the modifier if you want to keep that level. and that level stays. So like I said, this is gonna work with any parameter, knob, or fader in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the audition mode in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.